When Comet 31 Atlas was first discovered, it seemed like just another icy wanderer drifting through the void, another frozen relic from the early days of the solar system. But in 2025, everything we thought we knew about 31 Atlas changed forever. The James Webb Space Telescope had been tracking it for months, gathering infrared and spectral data to study its strange brightness fluctuations. At first, scientists thought it was just sunlight reflecting off ice and dust, but then the readings began to make no sense. Every few days, the comet's luminosity would rise and fall, not randomly, but rhythmically. It pulsed. Those pulses were precise, timed to the second, repeating every 142 seconds like a heartbeat. Comets don't do that. Dr. Eleanor Reeves, one of NASA's senior astrophysicists, recalled the moment she realized something was off. She ran the data through every model we had. Nothing natural could explain it. It was as if the comet was responding to observation. At first, the team thought it was caused by internal vents or rotational shadows, but the heat signatures told another story. Instead of freezing cold dust, certain areas of 31 Atlas showed bursts of heat energy, as though machinery deep within the object was activating and shutting down. To confirm it, they pointed the James Webb's infrared array at the object for 16 continuous hours. What they saw next left even the most skeptical scientists speechless. The comet emitted a structured thermal pulse, identical intervals, identical strength, then paused and did it again. Not once, not twice, but seven times in perfect sequence. It wasn't random. It was deliberate. When the data reached the Jet Propulsion Laboratory in California, analysts ran it through pattern recognition software. The algorithm detected something chilling. The heat pulses followed the Fibonacci sequence, a mathematical pattern that defines life and growth in nature. Plants, shells, galaxies, and now, somehow, a comet. The discovery sent shockwaves through the scientific community. If 31 Atlas was following a biological or mathematical rhythm, it wasn't behaving like a comet at all. As the Webb telescope gathered more data, the picture became stranger. The object's composition didn't match any known comet. Beneath its icy shell, there were dense metallic signatures, alloys that don't exist naturally. Even more disturbing were electromagnetic emissions, weak but consistent, coming from deep within the core. It was broadcasting something. NASA scientists recorded the signal, filtered it through AI decoding software, and found it was transmitting on a frequency that matched the hydrogen line, 1420 megahertz, often considered the universal channel for interstellar communication. Coincidence? Or something more? While the data became public, social media exploded. Some claimed it was proof of alien technology. Others believed it was a natural phenomenon misunderstood by humans desperate for contact. But behind closed doors, something far more serious was happening. According to leaked internal memos, the European Space Agency and NASA quietly coordinated an emergency research program called Project Arebos. Its mission was simple determine if 31 Atlas was artificial or alive. Over the next 72 hours, Webb, Hubble, and multiple radio telescopes across Earth locked onto the object. The data that came back was unmistakable. The emissions from 31 Atlas were now changing, adapting. The signal strength increased whenever telescopes were directed at it and weakened when observations stopped. It was reacting to being watched. By the end of the week, the comet's behavior had shifted dramatically. Its rotation slowed down by 0.3%, something no comet has ever done naturally. Then, as if acknowledging the attention, the comet emitted a final burst of light, stronger than anything before, and went completely dark. In that moment, the world realized something terrifying. 31 Atlas might not just be a comet, it might be something aware. After the blackout, astronomers feared the object had disintegrated. But three days later, telescopes detected movement again. 31 ATLS was back, and this time, it was different. Its trajectory had changed. Slightly, but deliberately. It was no longer drifting along its predicted orbit. 
it was steering. NASA confirmed the alteration was too precise to be caused by outgassing or gravitational pull. Something inside was controlling its motion. Meanwhile, the Deep Space Network began receiving new transmissions from the same direction. The signals were structured, carrying intervals that matched human brainwave frequencies, specifically alpha and theta patterns associated with awareness and thought. The implications were staggering. Was the object conscious? Or was it mimicking consciousness, analyzing us? At the same time, Webb's instruments captured faint visuals from the comet's surface. Patterns, symmetrical hexagonal shapes, were forming across the icy crust, almost like scales or armor plating. Each emitted faint thermal energy in sequence, like neurons firing. One researcher described it best. It's as if the comet's surface is forming a nervous system. When these thermal pulses were plotted on a timeline, they displayed recognizable waveforms, ones eerily similar to biological life signs, heartbeat, respiration, response. 31 ATLS wasn't just reacting to observation, it was adapting to it. Then, on October 4th, the world received the transmission that changed everything. At exactly 0342 UTC, multiple deep space receivers across Europe and the United States picked up a 19-minute-long coded signal. When decoded, it revealed a repeating audio pattern resembling human vocal frequencies. When translated into spectrograph form, scientists found what looked like symbols, not random, but arranged in geometric order. They resembled molecular structures, specifically DNA helix patterns. The message was clear and deeply unsettling. The comet wasn't just broadcasting, it was communicating. Inside the laboratories at NASA's Ames Research Center, the data was fed into an advanced AI for linguistic analysis. After 11 hours of decoding, the AI produced a translation. It wasn't complete, but the partial phrase sent chills through every scientist who saw it. I am not stone. For decades, we've looked for signs of life on distant planets, moons, and exoplanets. But what if life didn't evolve on worlds at all? What if it evolved between them? A living organism the size of a comet, capable of sustaining itself in deep space, would change everything we know about biology, physics, and evolution. It would mean that the universe itself is teeming with life, not confined to planets, but drifting, thinking, surviving in the dark. Some scientists now refer to 31 ATLS as a biomechanical organism, part biological, part technological a fusion of organic and synthetic intelligence. Its internal energy bursts show patterns of metabolic regulation, and yet its external structure resembles engineered armor. It's as if the object was designed for both survival and communication. But here's the most alarming part. Its path continues to bend ever so slightly toward the inner solar system. Its next projected pass will bring it closer to Earth than ever before within 0.3 astronomical units. Some researchers believe it's simply being drawn by gravitational forces. Others aren't so sure. Recent infrared readings show that 31 ATLS emits faint like in response to our radio transmissions. It's listening. It's learning. It's aware of us. And perhaps the most haunting theory yet, it's coming closer to understand why we called it dead for so long because maybe, in the cold silence of space, it was never sleeping. It was waiting. And now, with every pulse, every signal, every whisper of radiation, it's telling us one thing. 31 ATLS is alive. <laughs>